In today's video, we're going to take a look at creating a I model in our control project using an SP file from Synchro 4D Pro. First thing we're going to do is open up our project and go to administration. From here, we'll select I model importer and then we'll select new. Once they create an I model box opens, we'll give our I model a name. We can give a description if we want, that's optional. The next, we'll want to select this setup, this iModel for scheduling service, if we want to create a connection between pro, control, and field. So what I mean by that is that whatever changes we make to our uh, model in our 40 Pro project will reflect in control and field. So next thing we want to do is we can use the browse button to find our SP file or we can just simply drag and drop it in. Once we've done that, we'll hit create. It may take a few minutes to create depending on the size of your SP file. So now that our iModel is loaded, you'll see it's activated a schedule module on the left hand side. We can go back into our iModel, edit, change cover, or even delete our iModel if we want now. So if we go to edit, we can still update the name, add more of a description. And as you can see here, this is the box that we checked to set up this iModel for scheduling service. This is what activated this schedule module on the left-hand side here. We can also add a cover photo if we want. So now to access our model, we can simply just click on the iModel. And as you can see here is now we have an I model that we can take tasks, documents, forms, inspections directly to our I model. We have the time scale here that we can scroll through to see the progress of our construction schedule. And that's how we create a I model using an SP file in our Synchro Control project. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.